what is up guys welcome to my level 1 to 250 leveling guide I know I promised one ever since Unleash came out almost a year ago but hey better late than ever right anyways from level 1 to 10 you guys just do the job quests whatever it entails if you're an explorer or a hero it's gonna be different but after every single job quest or the tutorial job quest you will be level 10 now from level 10 to 30 you want to go to golems which I will show you how to go to right now they are two maps to the right of Hennessy's you go down through here to Spore Hill then Shining Forest Trail I believe Humming Forest Trail then you go down here I understand a lot of people will know but just in case for those of you who don't know here are the golems in here now the best two maps to train in here it are the flaming golems which are in golem temple 3 and the mixed golems uh, at first though if you're too weak feel free to train on uh, these golems for a few levels but just to show you guys right here these are the flaming golems and on the map above here we have the mixed golems now from here you want to train until level 30 and when you get to level 30 head over to Kerning city and I will show you guys where to train next all right, now that you're in Kerning City, you want to go to the Kerning Shopping Center, which is in the subway right here. And you go to the ticket gate here, and then there should be an option for Kerning Square Shopping Center. And uh, the train's just going to go, 10 seconds. Come on, please, no XP waste. We have a leveling guy to do. Alrighty, now you go up through here and you go to the there's gonna be an elevator here and you're gonna to want to go to the top floor. So let's take the elevator and go to music slot shop slash VIP zone, which you will see CDs here. Now here CDs, you want to train here from thir level 30 to 42. Now at first these CDs they probably will be pretty hard to kill and you'll probably need a good amount of pots, but they get progressively easier and you want to train here. From level 30 to 42. Once you go to 42, make your way to Ariane. If you know if you don't know how to get to Ariane, I'll show you guys a shortcut real quick. First, go to the Six Path Crossway. I'll meet you guys there. All right, guys. So here we are at the Six Path Crossway. Now, if you don't have a hyper teleport rock to go to Ariane, you can go through here, the interdimensional portal to Pantheon. And then from there, you can select the world portal and then find Ariant. So let's go to Ariant now, which is right here. The little, uh, oops, the little, uh, I guess, sculpture icon. And here we are in Ariant. Now, Desert Rabbits will be on the way right. So walk to the way right of Ariant. Almost there. All right, here we are now. Here are the desert rabbits now from here you want to be killing these sorry don't know what just happened uh, you want to be killing these from level 42 to 55 now just the usual thing that will be hard to start with but eventually they'll become very easy and redundant now the next map you want to be training at is really really close to where this map is so uh, no traveling necessary it's simple and uh, yeah all you need to do is walk down a few maps Okay, now that you're level 55, the next training spot you're going to want to be going to is very close to here. It is Sand Rat, so here is your maps, the Desert Bunnies that you were just killing from level 42 to 55. Now all you need to do is leave this map and then go to the left, the portal to the left right here. We're in Ariat still. Go through here, and you'll see a little camel dude right here. You just click on him, and he'll take you to Ariat. I mean, Magatia, sorry. And here you are. And then all you need to do now is leave this place. So to leave here, you need to go through the portal right there. Let me get to it. All right. And now here are sand rats. Now here you want to be training until level 70. This is a very easy XP since there's a lot of them spawning. Uh, sand rats they have a total of 19k HP so they shouldn't be that hard for you to kill and all you need to do is kill them to level 70 from level 70 to 85 there are two pretty viable options for you guys to do now the first one is very close again so here we are back in Magatia. Uh you know we came here to get to the sand rats so 
The next training place is Royd. So you want to go to this uh, little weird building in here and you'll see this nice little fella right here. If you go into here, into this little uh, secret hide place, this research institute, and in here you will see the Royds. So here we are, Royds. This place is an excellent place to train at from level 70 to 85. But also, there is another option for you guys to train at. It's pretty much similar to this, except it's a PQ. If you guys enjoy PQing, I suggest uh, you guys do this. If not, or if you guys don't enjoy PQ, I suggest you guys do the Royds. But if you guys enjoy PQing, I suggest you guys go do Romeo and Juliet PQ. Whoops, sorry, not this. Romeo and Juliet PQ, which you can get through the Spiegelman's party quest entry. And the right one to do for this is you will see Romeo and Juliet right here. So all you have to say in here is something like j j joining Art Romeo and Juliet PQ. You can just say J R and J PQ. Uh, see if there's any friends who want to do it. This is great XP from 70 to 85. Now, if you guys remember Romeo and Juliet PQ, you could do that up to level 100. But if you don't want to do that, you can do Monster Park. Now, for, you will be level 85. So the two places you'll be training at are Gray's Hideout and Scorching Sand Desert. Unfortunately, on this account, I cannot go in to show you guys. But rest assured, these two places give extremely good XP. And you want to be doing this until level 100. Now I forgot to mention, to get in you're going to have to purchase these zebra tickets which you can either purchase a ticket for 50k or if you have fragments you can trade 10 fragments in for a ticket. If you run out of tickets from here, I suggest you just finish up level 85 to 100 at Romeo and Juliet PQ, it doesn't really take that long. Now from level 100 to 160 there is one training place that I believe is probably the best but you're limited to how many times you can do it which is the evolution lab by the time you get to level 200 you should have a prequest that asks you to activate the evolution lab go through those prequests and when you're done you shall have this guy right here now to start the evo lab to to have the most optimal conditions for training you're gonna have to buy some cores in here not the ones that cost coins but down here there's ones that cause miso now the ones you want to get are monster core level 7 buy one of those Monster HP times 5 by one of those and monster population 30% these are the standard ones you're going to want to be getting so you want to initiate it you go to connect to evo system now as you can see monster level core plus 7 I have that monster HP times 5 I have that and monster population times 30 make sure to insert those to your status to these little slots before you start the evo system and now you press start now you'll be in this little weird you know binary weird like really weird place whatever you go to link three and in here you will have a ton of little mushrooms to kill now this at lower levels is really good xp at level 200 for me or it is or 203 actually for me it isn't really that efficient but from level 1 to 160 you should be able to get it rather you should get really fast xp the first time you go into evo lab if you are a good skill or a good class with a lot of mobbing you should be able to get a good five or six levels in the first 30 minutes. Now, let, wait until this happens. When this thing happens, when that thing in the middle breaks, everything, every mob here is attracted towards the middle. So when these happens, uh, you got a ton of XP as well. Now, the only limitation to Evo Lab is you can only do it five times a day. So you're, you're pretty limited as to how many times you can do this. Although five times a day for a couple of days will get you to 160. All you need to do is kill these monsters basically it's self-explanatory now there is an alternative if you have used all five times of your evil uh, evil lab and you still want to train more which I will show you guys right now I will be leaving evil lab right now if you ever want to leave or run out of pots this is the way to do it but I suggest you guys you know use all 30 minutes of the evil lab because as you can see I've already done it once so it's gonna say one out of five remaining entry counts when you've done all five you cannot do any more so a different place to train at if you've used up all your evo lab runs or you don't really want to train there is also in the dimensional mirror it's called dimensional invasion now dimensional invasion pretty self-explanatory as well you're gonna have this guy named piston in here and you're gonna go begin invasion and enter invasion 
Whoops. Well. Okay, sorry, my fraps kind of bugged out there. But anyways, in here, it's all you need to do is there's going to be mob spawn, and you just have to kill them. Uh, it does get pretty hard once you go a few rounds in if you don't have enough range, but um, you're usually this should be pretty simple and self-explanatory. It's they're pretty easy to kill. Um, so all you need to do is kill these mobs. And as you see, more spawns. So, you know, very good place to train at if Evo Lab is all done or not really your flavor. It's basically the same, like the same concept. And you want to do this to level 165 as well. All right, so we're at Pantheon again because we need to go to Leafry, which you can get to right here with uh, the little egg symbol. This is Leafry. Now, what we're going to be training at now is Stronghold. Now, to get to Stronghold, you're at Leafry right here. You're going to want to go to the Half Dragon Guy by the Intercontinental Station, which is right there. So let's just get to there. One more map to the right. And now here you'll see the guy that... Um, the guy right here who does the ferry that no one takes anymore. And then way up here you'll see... Korba, the retired dragon guy who if you talk to him he'll turn you into a dragon and you're going to want to go two maps to the right and get to Temple of Time, the place where Pink Bean is, so let's go fly across these two maps. It takes a couple of seconds to fly both uh, through both of them around 30 seconds I want to say, but no biggie, let's uh, fly through this now we'll have one more map to fly through Almost there now. And here we are at Temple of Time. Alrighty, and now what you want to do from Temple of Time is just go in, just climb up. And now when you get in, you'll see two or three big doors actually. And you're going to want to take the door right here. And then go through the gate to the future to future Hennessy's. want to go through this little flag portal and go down a few maps now your first time visiting stronghold you are gonna have to do well I think there's a few prequests you need to do go uh, if you if you if it is your first time here make sure to just uh, look up the prequests and do them I don't exactly remember how to do them because I did them probably about two years ago but after your prequests before your prequests there are gonna be a lot of mobs here and you won't be able to get in you can though if you are uh, get summoned by a family member or use a hyper tally rock. Now the place you want to be training at is training hall two, and it is this portal right here. You need to be training here from what level one sixty five to one seventy nine, preferably with the party because it's quicker. Or if you're really funded, you could probably kill these on your own. All you have to do is kill these from level one sixty five to one seventy nine. Now after that, after you get to level 179, the next map is actually very close to here where you want to be training at. Now this map, Hall of Honor, you can train at from level 179 all the way to level 200. However, I'll explain to you guys the differences between Hall of Honor and then the other map you could be training at at level 190. So let's get to Hall of Honor. Now when you get to... You get to this map right here. There's going to be a portal in the way top, which can transport you directly to Hall of Honor. All right here we are at Hall of Honor now. Now, Hall of Honor is the best place to train at if you can get a party going and have Okana and HS. However, if you are solo, there's a better place to train. But regardless, you want to be training here from level 179 to 190. Okay, so an alternative from Hall of Honor, if you don't really want to train with the party, the other place for you to train at is Warrior Grounds. Now, Warrior Grounds is, well, 
I guess it ha if you are training solo and at Warrior Grounds compared to Hall of Honor, you will get better XP. But Hall of Honor with a full party will get you better XP than Warrior Grounds will. Now to get there, as you see, uh, I was just at Future Hennessy's and now I'm climbing through the Dreamy Forest Trail. It's it, it, this these maps kind of have like a similar setting to uh, the maps, uh, the real Maple Story map. So here we are at the Six Path Crossway in the future, just burned down, and you go to the top left or sorry top right hand corner of the screen and you'll be here and you just have to walk a few maps to get into future Perion. all right here we are twilight Perion. sorry not future Perion. and all you need to do now is get to warrior grounds which is right here so let's just enable navigation so you guys can see uh oh Whoops, we'll just go this way, I guess. Oh, I guess navigation doesn't work, so uh, if you, you guys should just uh, you know follow how I go, I guess. So let's go. So from this map, all you want to do is keep on going right for a few maps. So right through there, go through here. Just follow the portals pretty much. Through here. Now, if you have a hyper tele rocket, it's a lot easier. Getting to here is kind of a hassle, but it's it's no big deal. Then you want to go through one more, and you'll be at the excavation site. And now you'll have two places where you can go. You want to be taking the one down here. Oh, well, I'm totally totally brain fart. Sorry, not the one down here, the one on top. And you'll be at the tribal refugee camp. And then from here, all you need to do is go through a few more maps, and you'll be at Warrior Grounds. You gotta go through here. Here's where the golems start popping up. So at Warrior Grounds, you're gonna be killing these uh, mixed golems. As you remember, way back at the, the beginning of the video, the first place you should be training at, mixed golems or frozen golems at Hennessy's. Well, here we are. One more map. Oh wait, there's one more map after this. Actually, whoops, kind of getting crowded here. If you have a, if you're a class with low health uh, or low avoidability, you will die. So here are the golems right here. Now they do do a ton of damage to you. So the only limitation of this place is that you need to be pretty well off and funded to train here. If not, I suggest Hall of Honor. But here we are, mixed golems. Now from here, you can pretty much train here all the way to 250. There's really no other place to train at this point in time. So. If you want to AFK, you can stand right here, and they won't hit you. So here we are. Here's the leveling guide. You can you stay here or Hall of Honor till 250. All right, so this is the end of the video. But here's some general tips that I want to give you guys. First, make sure to always have holy symbol. You can get that from a bishop or a phantom. If you could have someone HS you or you have an HS mule, that is very helpful. It'll give you 1.5x XP. You'll have 50% more XP and it'll make your journey to level 250 much easier. Two, this guy right here, a familiar, the junior boogie familiar, when you're training, it increases your HP or it recovers your HP continuously to the point where you will pretty much never need mana pots. So it'll save you a good amount of money on mana pots, hopefully. Well, other than that, guys, all I can say is good luck. Uh, if you guys are looking for 250 or those of you who are going for 250 i wish you the best of luck i don't think i'll ever or i don't think i'll be making it there for a long long time uh what else is there to say all i can say is all you have to do is stick to it just grind it out and you'll get the level it's not that hard i know every one of you guys watching this video can get to whatever level you want all you got to do is put your mind to it i hope you guys enjoyed this leveling guide if you did, make sure to give me a like, and I will see you guys in my next video.